Hey everybody, so in this video I'm going to talk to you about one-sided limits. So to begin with, when you see this positive sign, this plus sign right there, it means coming from the right, and this minus sign means coming from the left. So to begin with, we have the limit as x approaches 1 from the right of f of x. So right here we have our graph, the function. So first of all, you look at this, x approaching 1 from the right. So where is 1? 1 is right here. And then coming from the right, you can't look at this because right here it's empty. It's not defined. Uh, on the right side here of 1. So you have to look at this function right here. Uh, this function has the values uh, when, when we're coming from 1 from the right. So as x approaches 1 from the right, it's approaching this number, which is 2. So the answer for this one would be 2. And then this next one, limit of f of x, limit of as x approaches uh, 1 from the left of f of x. So where is 1 right here? Coming from the left. See, we can't use this function anymore because from the left of 1 has nothing right here. It's empty. So we have to look at this. From This is 1. From the left of 1, we're approaching this area right here, which has 1 as its y value. So it's equal to 1. Finally, if I ask you, uh, if you're asked uh, what's the limit as x approaches 1, <coughs> having no specified direction, uh, just the limit as x approaches 1 of f of x, um, the limit does not exist. And it's one of the properties of continuity. Uh, the reason why it does not exist is because uh, the limit uh, coming from the right as x approaches 1 does not equal to the limit uh, as x approaches 1 from the left. So then they need to be equal in order, to, in order for the limit as x approaches just 1 uh, in order for it to be defined. In this case, it would be DNE, which stands for does not exist.